Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I took a look recently at the new Chromecast with Google TV and some side-loaded apps that I tried to navigate required the use of a mouse toggle similar to the one I use on my Fire Stick. However, the version that I use on my Fire Stick does not work on the Chromecast or any other Android device running Android TV. So I've taken a look around and found a solution. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to download, install, and use a free mouse toggle that will work on any device running Android TV. Thanks goes to Tech Doctor UK, who previously demonstrated the solution. Credit goes to him for finding this free mouse toggle app and working on it together with his developer to get this mouse toggle app fully working on Android TV. He's got a really great channel for streaming and tech tutorials, so pop along to the Tech Doctor UK channel and subscribe. When you're ready to install this mouse toggle for your Android TV, grab your remote and let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. When reviewing streaming devices, I use an application called Geekbench 5 to run performance tests. On the Chromecast with Google TV, as you can see, I have no way of navigating the screen and I cannot navigate to click the Run CPU Benchmark button. However, we can install an app called MATVT, which is a virtual mouse. Once installed and activated, a mouse pointer appears on screen, allowing me to navigate and select the parts of the screen that were impossible to access before. This will work with any app that needs a mouse toggle. Installing and setting up MATVT is easy following these steps. All you need is the downloader app installed, which you can get from the Google Play Store. With downloader open, in the URL bar, type in the code 28907 and click enter. When the downloads page loads, scroll down to the search box and enter MATVT. Click the enter button on the on-screen keyboard to enter your search, then press the back button on your remote to hide the keyboard and view your search results. Scroll down to your search results and click the red download button for the MATVT app. Scroll down and you will find more information about the application, such as a description, version number, and date the app was last updated. Click the download button again to install the app. Once the install has finished, select done and then select delete and delete again. This will delete the installation file as it's no longer needed. Now, before we can open and use mouse toggle, there are a few things that we need to do first to get it working. First, we need to grant the application permissions to draw over other apps. This will allow the mouse toggle to appear over the top of other applications so you can use it to control your navigation within any app that you have open. From your home screen, go to settings, select apps, then tap down and select special app access. Select display over other apps then scroll through this list and find MATVT. Click to select it and this will change the permissions to allow the MATVT app to display over the top of other apps. Next, we need to go into accessibility settings to turn on the mouse toggle service. Return to your home screen and again, go into the settings. Tap down and select system, then select accessibility. 
If you're using a different Android TV box, you may have to go into Device Preferences to find the Accessibility option. Tap down and select Mouse Toggle Service. If you can't see Mouse Toggle Service, you may see Mouse Event Listening Service instead. Click to select it and click OK to enable it. Now that the mouse toggle is installed, you can now go into any app and when you want to use the mouse toggle, simply press and hold the mute button on your remote control for two seconds. You will now see that mouse mode has been activated and a mouse pointer appears in the center of your screen. Use the D-pad on your remote to move the mouse pointer up, down, left, right and select areas of the screen that were previously inaccessible. If you want to use the mouse toggle to be able to scroll up and down the screen like this so you can scroll through lists or move up and down pages, with the mouse toggle enabled, press the mute button once on your remote control and this will put the mouse into scroll mode. Press once on the mute button again to disable the scroll feature and go back to mouse mode. When you want to turn the mouse toggle off, simply hold down the mute button again for two seconds to turn it off. Now there are a few useful customization settings for this mouse toggle if you wanted to make the mouse pointer bigger, smaller, faster or slower. Head back into the accessibility settings and select the mouse toggle service and choose the configuration option. Make your changes and test it out to see what works best for you. I really hope that this video has helped and you're now able to use apps that you weren't able to use fully before. Comment down below if it did and let me know which device you have used this mouse toggle application on. Again, a big thanks and shout out to Tech Doctor UK for making this possible for all Android TV users. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers and I truly appreciate your help to make my channel grow. There's also a brand new thanks button YouTube have added that allows you to show your appreciation even more to your favourite YouTubers with an animated super thanks. And to give back to my subscribers and all of you for watching, there are some really great giveaways that you can enter for free on my website by going to firetvsticks.com forward slash win. Products and services that you can win change on a monthly basis, so make sure that you keep this page bookmarked so you can check back regularly and enter all of my free giveaways for your chance to win.